The future of warfare is focusing on defense from the sea to the skies. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us on this Friday. I'm Marcella Lee. In an exclusive look, CBS 8's Abby Black boarded a boat with the 1st Marine Division to give us an inside view of rare training that involves low altitude air defense against drones. We go out to see with the 1st Marine Division to get an exclusive look at the future of warfare. About two miles off the shore between Camp Pendleton and San Clemente. <laughs> we get a rare look at a Marine low altitude air defense training exercise. This is the second time in 12 months that these two units have worked together on this task. We're on board a U.S. Marine rubberized inflatable boat called a RIP. Going about 10 to 15 knots, but it feels much faster. I was embedded with the first light armored reconnaissance unit that specializes in boats. We were alongside the third low altitude air defense battalion that focuses on air defense. And when you put them together, you get you get a capability that um, neither has by itself uh, and, and adds synergy to the force. Using Stinger missiles loaded with inert rounds. Their target is the Puma, which is an unmanned aircraft system. Our goal was to uh, defeat low altitude unmanned aircraft with the missile system deployed from the water. Lance Corporal Jacob Reeves is at the helm, and Corporal Taylor Carter keeps an eye on the waters and crew. The practicing, getting that timing right. For each round, they rotate gunners. This maritime training between the two units is new. Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Wynn is the commanding officer over the 1st Light Armored Reconnaissance Unit and says this brings them in line with the U.S. Marine Force Design 2030, which aims to reshape combat power to prepare for naval war. As the Marine Corps evolves its focus from you know, 20 years in, in the desert uh, to being a, a credible partner in, with, the, with the naval force. Well, Lieutenant Colonel Wynn's unit would not be responsible for shooting down a drone. The training is happening during a time when the U.S. military shot down a suspicious balloon and three UFOs in one week over North America. Okay, that thing is not the moon. Wynn says this training is critical to be equipped against new and emerging threats. If you're going to fight somebody that has the same things you do, uh, you need to be relevant uh, on the water, in the air, uh, both offensively and defensively. By pairing two forces that don't often work together, they learn to outmaneuver enemies from the water. So that they understand the threat that, the threat that we face uh, as a nation, and they really, it's, it's incredible what they do when you ask them to put together you know, something that is novel, something that's not done really anywhere else. Uh, they just perform brilliantly. Off the shores of Camp Pendleton, I'm Abby Black, CBS 8.